Hi, it's Tracy. G'day and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are gonna show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. We're uh, at Bautou Airport right now, heading on our way to Xi'an. And when we get to Xi'an, we're gonna transfer onto the fast train for a three hour trip to... Chengdu. Oh, you nearly forgot where we were going. I know, Chengdu. <laughs> We've traveled so much. It's like town of town of town. We're actually uh, leaving the cold weather, uh, which is good because tomorrow it's gonna be about minus 406 degrees. So, but Chengdu, we've got some very beautiful food there and it's a lovely city. Yeah. So look forward to our post coming up from Chengdu. And there's one in Pan Bazaar as well. Oh yeah, we might even get to see one. Who knows? Oh. Here we are, we're in Asiyan where the Terracotta Warriors are. It's only a quick stopover after we uh, caught the flight. We're heading on our way to Chengdu and here's the bullet train that we're going on. We'll post some speeds it gets up to, it gets up pretty fast. See you on the other side. Two hours later. Okay, so we've arrived in Chengdu. It's early evening. The train ride was awesome to say nonetheless. They fly along those fast bullet trains. Hey, we're in Chengdu station. It's another one of those big ones. And we're making our way now to the car. These places are bloody huge, I've got to tell you. Need a map just to get around them. Well, we've arrived here in Chengdu. We're at the train station, just waiting on our car to do a drive-by pickup. And it's uh, it's actually not too cold. It's a lot warmer here than Bateau, baby. It is. I've still got my coat on because I feel the cold. Okay, just walking in to find the sauna and the spa and everything. This is huge. I think we'll go this way. And all the lockers are here. So when you come in, you get given a tag and then you can have like a locker. But um, oh, what's this through here? <gasps> These are those heated. This would be heated um, chair. Yes. So you heat this up and you can lay on this and just have full heat on your back. And there is the spa. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's amazing. We're at the Shangri La at Chindo. And I will be coming down later to most certainly put all this facility to good use. And here is the steam room. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at that. Wow. That is going to be really, really good. All right, just going to need to check out the pool. And when you walk close, surprise. If you're not ready for it, the shower will get you. That's just so that you rinse off and rinse your feet prior to getting into the pool so everything's clean. What an amazing place this is here. It's incredible. Can't wait to come down today, use the facility. No! God, please, no! No! Well, here we are in the lounge in Beijing, and uh, we're flying out in about an hour's time, and the food's about to come out, and it's got a full my belly. But it's not a bad lounge. It's a business class, first class domestic lounge. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Check it out. Just a small quick signing session this morning before breakfast. 200 down. Oh yeah. This is Jimmy. Hi Jimmy. Hi. Jimmy is one of the great chefs here at the Shangri-La at Chengdu. Jimmy is the man to go to when you need something, right? Yes, of course. And what do you do here, Jimmy? Uh, I do uh, Western food. Jimmy is a part of every part of this restaurant. He keeps his eye on everything and makes sure everything is done fresh and beautiful. It's a wonderful place here, Jimmy. Thank you, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Tonight we're having a uh, war war in Chengdu and it's especially here because we're in the Sichuan province. Look how damn spicy that is. This part here in the middle, this is for me, Leanne. This one around the outside is for everybody else. There is so much chili in here, it's already cleaning up with my nostrils. Can't wait to eat it. I think it's going to be great. I can't oh. wait. I think the, the garlic smells amazing already. 
and I'm thinking bring on the meat, bring on anything and everything. You know, it's it's really important that when you come to these cities in China, that you try and experience some authentic food and stuff like that. And there's no better way when you're in Sichuan, you'll eat this sort of stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, now, we've just found these on the table. There's four little pans. Leanne and I have actually no idea what they are, so we're gonna hand it over to the expert. Can you explain what that is for us? Sure, this is a spicy sauce for the hot pot in China. Spicy sauce for hot pot? It is so spicy that if you eat it, it is like it was explode in your mouth. Oh. So we call it a grenade. You call it a grenade? Yeah, a grenade. So it's it, actually a, a grenade Sauce bomb. Yes, agree. My God. The smell and aromas coming out of this is unbelievable. What is that? Bean curd. Bean curd. Okay, we've got bean curd going only into the chili, not into uh, into the good bit. They're going into the hot bit. Joshing up. Have a look at this. What is it? Pink broth. Pink broth. Pink Rope. Wow. This one's a vegetable. It's broke. And have a look what's going in our one. Lots of vegetables. Good old vegetables. Pepper. Papa, you know, were you on the vegetables? This is a dark intestinal. Oh. <laughs> Wait, let me take a photo. Oh. How good is this food? Oh. In um, China, when you say gumbay, it means that you drink your drink. It's Straight up. To do with that thing right there, right? So we've done about four of those already. <laughs> Just saying. And how are you going with your food? You're doing all right. Yep, be nice. How good. I love war war. War war is one of the bestest ways to eat for me. It's clean. It's just putting vegetables and meat and everything into the pot and just cooking it the way you like it. Absolutely and, love it. And it's cooked very well. It's all boiled. <laughs> it's all boiled, but it's boiled in a broth. Um, but because the boys have got their chilli bit going on, it's getting down our throat a little bit, but it's all good. Check out, check out the, the colour of this here. It's real, and that's the boys' pot there, and this is ours. Look at the difference. Oh my God. Sometimes I dip my chopsticks, I dip my chopsticks into theirs, and then I'm not allowed to put it in mine. So I come back and I mix it in my rice. Wait, wait, wait. Now this is the right way if you're Chinese to eat ah. your dan Yeah, look. That's it. There. And over here, this is the Aussie way. <laughs> 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 Aussie way. Aussie way. Aussie way. Aussie way. We are absolutely thoroughly enjoying our meal here tonight at the Chengdu. Chengdu Guagua and something that's pretty amazing is that they bought this out early this thing here and what is this? It's made of sticky rice it's, it's actually a dessert right? And what is the sauce? This is a sweet sauce. Okay so is that right? So let's try this. Bad, very sweet, and I like things sweet. How are you going? Oh, great. Look at the size of this beer. It's massive. <laughs> wow. Right. It's all empty, by the way. We've done one. Venus Club. 
I kind of think I'm out of my element a little bit. I think it's more for the under 30s. So that leaves me a good 20 years, you know. Very interesting place. Hey, what a great night it's been tonight. It's quite cool. I've got three layers of clothes on, plus my jacket and my snow boots. It's been great to come out tonight. We're walking along the river here in uh, Chendo and it's amazing. And across here is where all the nightlife kind of is, it's called the pub lane or the pub street. It's amazing, all of, the old temple up there just brings the old with the new. And look at this river. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. You could just imagine a gondola or a gondola going up here with the lights and because it's so cold under a blanket with some hot chocolate. That's what they need to do here. How good would that be? having an, an, an IV. So going across this bridge, it's pretty big, it's got a beautiful wide, wide footpath on it. And the name of this bridge is called Nine Eye Bridge. See these arches here? It's called that because there's nine of those on every partition of the bridge. Wow, this is amazing, this place. I'm walking down a place called the Bar in Chengdu, and uh, there's about 20 bars along this little strip. There's from Budweiser through to um, the, the Blue Lotus Bar. There's a bit of everything down this street. I actually feel like I've been warped into an older version of New Orleans. All right, here, and I'm gonna have some juice. Not sure what it's gonna taste like. White fungus. Oh, it's white fungus. Yes, tea soup. Oh, does it? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've with dates. With dates. All right, let's try it. There it is. Okay, so I got my juice. Oh, juice? It's, that like water. No, it's white fungus and date juice, apparently. What so, is white fungus? So that's mushroom. mushroom. Yeah. Juice. I know. I've got the photo of it, which you'll see, but I'm going to try it. Oh my god, I wouldn't have that again. <laughs> what? 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 Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you there. Cheers.